Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario World in the last part. We got most of the way through Vanilla Dome, or most of the rest of the way through Vanilla Dome and finished it up. And in this part, I'm probably going to go take that pipe on the top there because I think that leads to the Cheese Bridge level. And then we'll probably continue on into the next world, which I can't even remember what it is. But this is apparently a vanilla secret, so uh, we weren't done with Vanilla World quite yet. Okay, so I can flutter for a little bit because of this green shell. I knew this blue Yoshi could fly, but apparently it's based off of the color of Koopas, because I know you can just fly over entire levels. I assume I actually need like a, uh, like a good colored Koopa in order to get that, and I might be SOL with Yoshi here. Yeah, he's gonna kill himself. Oh! No, he... He's going somewhere. Somewhere where I'll never find him. What a shame. Alright, I thought I would have despawned that by now. Okay. Well, at least that will get me my power up back. On a good note. And then it will completely blow it, trying to use it effectively. Fantastic. I'll hold this out in front of me. I don't know how well it's actually going to do considering last episode where I did that and still got boned by the game. Alright. So, whoever made this level really, really liked Green Koopas. Like, a lot. This level might as well just be called Green Paratroopa. Alright, so that's the midpoint. Random spiny. Uh, Lakitu inside of a pipe. That's something new. And I didn't even realize this game actually had music blocks. That is interesting. Not really, but, you know, it's it's interesting. I just completely violated everything I said. I'd like to apologize for that. There's probably some way to actually take that, but I'm not going to bother. Those were very important six coins. Absolutely needed them. Oh, we're on to the red Koopa portion of the stage, and it was very short. A lot shorter than the green Koopa portion of the stage, but... You gotta admit, Green Koopa's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so there's another secret over here, and then I assume that's... A, maybe a Koopa Link Fortress? I don't know. I know there's at least one secret fortress in this game, and I feel like it's... Iggy's? I don't even remember. Or if it was Roy's. It might have been Roy's that I'm thinking of. There's one that's in the Forest of Illusion that's a secret, and there's a lot of dolphins here, and a Big Bertha, and I don't want to touch that. And I would really like to get up there, because I don't think I'm going to have fun swimming today. Alright, so we got the checkpoint, so at least I'm not going to get boned in that regard. These dolphins will carry me to victory. Although it does seem like I have to jump right before they touch the water, otherwise I'm going to get boned. Alright, fantastic. As long as they don't crush me, I'm good. I didn't even realize you could actually get 50 on that. Fantastic. Looks like we're headed to the special stage again. So that we can get all the 7 Chaos Emeralds. So I'm probably going to skew this up in a way where I'm barely going to get anything again. Okay, 3 ain't bad. And 27 lives should be enough to carry me through the rest of the game, probably. The Little Fortress, that's a very bland name. Sure does look vanilla. Oh, it's a water level, fantastic. I think I remember this fortress a little bit, but... I doubt I did it in my last Let's Play. Um, so there's a pipe down there. But this seems like it's probably the better route, because it might take me further in the level. Plus, I got a power up to carry myself through. So that's a rusty... English is a hard language. Rusty, decrepit, old spike. So of course it's going to fall. Of course I'm going to fall, in the manner that I am an awful player. And apparently that doesn't kill fish bones. 
But this will hopefully take us really late into the level, maybe? There are swamps underwater now. What a world. Hopefully that fish bone will not bone me. Again, the beautiful Mario World trumpets. Simply outstanding. Some of the most beautiful music I have ever heard. Okay, I should have expected that. For some reason, I thought the hitbox wasn't going to get me. Back to Vanilla Fortress we go. Maybe I'll try that alternate path this time, see if it's a little bit easier. But I can go through those rings at least. Ah, okay, so you do have to be tiny to get through here, because Spike is totally going through Mario's hat right now, but he doesn't seem to care about that. As long as it doesn't touch his skull, we're good. Maybe this will be really nice to me and give me like a power-up or something? Okay, this looks like it might be a power-up, maybe. Mushroom is nice. But we do have to deal with a lot more thwomps in this case. There was something glitching out on the top of the screen there. It looked pretty spectacular, and there it goes again. Pretty sure that's just the, the spike ball loading like the wrong sprites or something. Alright, so this is probably where we warped to last time. Going up there was not a wise idea, so I'm just going to go straight to the right this time. Which seems to be generally easier. And there's the boss door, fantastic. Sadly, I cannot get over there until these guys decide to move. I'm pretty sure I can jump on them. Ooh. Oh no, it's Resnor. Jesus Christ, how horrifying. Thank God for that. Um, you're not going to kill me, right, Bridge? Okay, good. I was going to say, I hope that doesn't continue disappearing and just jaunts Mario into the lava. That'd be awful. So this takes us to some sort of bridge level, which will take us to a different fortress. And then down there is Cheese Bridge, which I think is where we're supposed to go. Ooh, we got Butter Bridge, which is... Very similar to Butter Building, a great Kirby level. Oh boy, we're in an auto scroll. Fantastic. Oh, it's this level. I remember this level. What goes down must cause other things to go up. Oh, okay, that did not work as I thought it would. I thought it would just fall whenever I was standing on it, but that is not how the physics are programmed. Again, I swear, it's it's because Mario Bros. X works a little bit differently. And also probably because I'm just absolutely awful at everything, but, you know, it's a little bit of each. Okay, so the screen does scroll a little bit slow for me to be able to do some stuff properly, but, hey, whatever. I'll grab that. I'm gonna have to make that jump. Oof, it was a bit rough. That's a lot of green Koopas. I didn't know we were back in the vanilla secret. Okay, I'm gonna actually have to let that go up a little bit more before I bother making that jump. Okay, that looks like a ballsy Yoshi's coin, I tell you what, or Yoshi coin. Um, okay. Things load at very odd intervals in this level. I think this might be the end. A little bit, and there's probably gonna be an enemy that just spawns and completely dupes me. No, don't you go that way. The mushroom was trying to escape from me, and that was not something I wanted. So there's probably just one last leap of faith here. Oh, this is definitely a leap of faith because it got way faster. Doing pretty good on the dragon coins. Okay, that was a bit of a risky jump. I think this is probably the end of the level. There might be something here, maybe? That got me a coin. I honestly don't even know how to get those working properly. Apparently they can give you a one-up if you either go fast or get a bunch of coins, but I'm not quite sure how to do that. Especially in an auto-scroll if it was the fast part. And I felt like I had a lot of coins. I'm not positive. Okay, so we'll probably just do Butter Bridge 2, and then I will bail on this episode. 
Boom. I'm getting a lot of voice cracks today, I swear. Probably should have drank water before I did this. But I am a trooper. Screw that up, we're not getting that. Oh, I butchered that up too. Do you like the fact that this level is just literally flat? There's nothing going on. Okay, so that respawned. Should have figured. But I desperately wanted that power up. We'll give it another go. Hopefully, I can grab that, maybe. If I'm lucky. If I'm feeling like playing a video game properly. Okay, well, I mean, I killed that at least. I'm only at a slight deficit, really. I was really hoping to get that, but I think I screwed it up too late now. Alright, turned around so that that could do absolutely nothing of importance. I really would like this power up. I would really also love to die. That would be fantastic. Thank you, game. I appreciate it. Alright, we'll give this one more go, and maybe if I screw up about twice more, I might just end the episode, because I think I've been recording a lot of really long episodes recently, and I keep losing track of time and getting 15 minutes confused of 20, because I'm kind of just doing this based off of instinct and what I think is a good stopping point, because um, my recorder doesn't actually have like a time stamp on how long I've been recording. So I kind of just have to eyeball it, kind of like how my eyeballs just rolled out of my head there as I fell off that cliff. Okay, we'll give it one more go. This time I'm going to straight up take this feather and give myself a head start in life, and then grab another one. Now hopefully I will not completely blow this. I could probably fly at this point if I got lucky but I may have blown my chance on that, too. Yep, definitely blew my chance. Alright, we'll get two feathers if everything goes according to plan. Alright, so I think I might be set for... That is a lot of enemies, holy shit. Um, I might actually stand a chance at beating this level now. I don't even need what's ever in that block, but I'm gonna get it anyways because I think I might be able to just go down here and... Why does this exist? Why do these pipes exist if there's nothing in them? Oh, that one lets me go down, at least. So this one appears to be some sort of climbing puzzle. Potentially just for coins. Which is sort of just a shame, but... Whatever, I'll take what I can get. I was feeling like there was going to be some enemies down here, but no, nah, it's just that, I guess. Nothing over there. Yeah, it may move me a little bit forward in the level as well. LOT of Koopas! Like, a, a LOT of Koopas. It's slowing down the game. There's so many Koopas. Not a lot of rhyme or reason to the placement, just Koopas. But hey, I mean, who doesn't love Koopas? I don't. I don't love Koopas after what they've just done to me. So we did beat that level, and I think I'm gonna call it quits here. This may be a short episode, I'm not sure. Again, I'm just going off of my uh, my circadian rhythm, I guess that's the word for it. I'm trying to estimate a good 15 minutes here. So in the next part, we will take care of Ludwig's castle. I will go backwards, probably do that bridge area down there, and uh, maybe that ghost house if I figure it out if it has a secret exit or not, because I know there's like one or two ghost houses I think I heard that don't actually have secret exits in this game, but I could be wrong on that. Anyways, thank you for watching, and farewell.